It's got to that time. Oh my days, Antics. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun right now. It's deep part time. Deep part time. Deep part time. So deep part. Welcome, brother. Welcome, brother. Yo, what's good, people? How you doing, out there, man? Mr. Northwest London. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what, Deepa. North Wheezy in the building. North Wheezy in the building. Trust me. Now, Mr. Deepa. Now, Mr. Deepa, yeah. is it Mr. Deepa or do we call you by something else? Nah, nah, Deepa. You can run Deepa. That'll do. That'll do. Cool, cool, cool. Now, Street Jammers, if you don't know about Deepa, you're gonna get to know about Deepa very, very quickly. So, Deepa, just tell the Street Jammers out there a little bit about yourself and, like, you know, how it all started. Let's tell the story of Deepa in like five minutes. Yo, basically, like, deep art, straight out of Northwest London. Uh, some people might know I used to be called Part One, but obviously it was uh, it was too hard to find on YouTube because obviously there's a million things with Part One in the title. So I had to change the name. So I mixed up my government, the first letter of my government name with my tag. Boom, deep art, there you go. Jeez. Then, uh, basically, I was just around. I was just writing bars as a hobby. Um, I jumped on Link Up TV. Thanks to my brother Taz, done a time to flow back in the day. Uh, it done well, and then since then it's just work rate, work rate, work rate, man. So, like, when did it all start? When was the first time that you picked up a microphone and you just thought, this is the kind of lifestyle for me? 2010, like, to be honest, like, I used to listen to a lot of grime music. I, I used to listen to a lot of JME, Skepta back in the day. So, obviously, I used to write a lot of bars just for joke on my phone or, or just when I'm bored at yard. And then, obviously, uh, one time, my guy Taz used to do a lot of filming. And then, next thing, he's, he's working for Link Up TV and they're doing quite well. So okay. he obviously shouted, man, said, do you want to drop something on video and see what the feedback came? I dropped a little time to flow freestyle. got like 2,000 views overnight, all positive feedback. So from there, I was dream, this is the way forward. And then I just obviously developed my relationships with the channels, with, um, with other artists. And then I've just been putting in that work, man. And obviously, like now, it's like all starting to come together. Like. Okay, so I mean, like, when you first started out, I mean... There was a part where I'm sure I'm sure this is correct because it's in an interview somewhere else on the internet where like 2010 or was it was it the time is up or something like where you you did your first um, track that you just been talking about and it was just like that was the moment when you thought I can't just do it for me I got a love for the music and when we've spoken before you've talked about you ain't doing it for the riches and the fame you're doing it to make music because that's the last like, like your passion your love you know what I'm saying yeah yeah it's all about the music for me at the end of the day one thing I always say. Is if I'm, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm only 22 years of age. I turned 22 yesterday still. But, um, basically, Happy birthday, man. Like, Happy birthday. The, <laughs> respect, respect. But the way I look at it, yeah, it, it's real, this is real talk as well. If I don't make it in this scene by the time I'm like 25, 26, as long as I'm known as a veteran, I'll be happy because I've got so much love for the music thing. Just as long as I go down as a part of it in some way, I'm happy. I'll, I'll sleep easy. That's why, that's why I really wanted to get you on Street Jam because we've worked with like, well, you've actually worked with MSL as well and also Porks on this Shutdown uh, mixtape. Now, when we had a look at this Shutdown mixtape, we didn't, we, well, we knew it was out there, but we didn't listen to all of it. But then when we saw the fire in the streets, we was like, wow, okay, this guy, this guy is like setting levels. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. So definitely. like, before we're going to talk about fire in the streets, let's, let's talk about the Shutdown mixtape that you did with Porks. Um, like yep. big in the game also, and there's a track feature on there from MSL. So like, how did all that come together? Like, how did it happen? Like basically, me, me, me and MSL, for example, we've always run in similar circles. Like the, the people he served with are, are both of our brethren. So it's one of them ones where we've always known about each other. And like the first time we linked up, we just we just got along very well. He got along with me and Port. And he was just like, you know what, you're putting in work, we're putting in work. And we dropped a track on his mixtape, Extraction, that's out now. And we dropped a track on our mixtape, The Shutdown, that, that, um, called New School. We filmed the video for that last week. It's going to be dropping on, uh, I think, on uh, maybe Blast the Beat TV on, uh, in about two weeks. But okay. um, apart from that, uh, The Shutdown mixtape, obviously me and Port have just been doing our thing together from the very start, like from 2011 times. And we just said, you know what, it's just time to get everything we've got, put it onto one mixtape. We got Flirter D, obviously, Northwest affiliated, obviously, whole type Flirter. Yeah. And uh, we got him, he basically hosted the mixtape for us, gassed it up, and then we just put it out for free download. And, and obviously, the feed has been epic, so it's, it's a good look. Well, what has the feedback been like? Because we're, we're going to get onto like a million views, which I thought was the most catchiest, catchiest, catchiest kind of like, like song that's like corner, like. It caught my eyes because it depends on which way you look at million views. Now, I'm sure there's a different view to many million views if you get the I'm little sure there's a million there. views on it. I'm sure there's a million views. <laughs> 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 
But talking about million views, what is it now? Like just before nine thousand? Is that what it is now? Yeah, yeah, just just, just below nine thousand, just below nine thousand views. It, 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 uh, to be honest, like me, I believe that YouTube views on rap music in general have gone down from what they used to be. Yeah, true. Like, they, like in in general, like I think less people are looking at UK rap on YouTube, like because the views aren't what they used to be. The videos that used to hit like twenty, thirty k, they're only hitting like nine, ten k now, and, and and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So it's all changed up, but. Uh, yeah, a million views was, was obviously a big track for me because I won't lie, like, J- Jay Lynch is someone that I always followed, and I, I rate Jay Lynch personally, innit? He's someone who I'd listen to and run a zoot, like. Yeah, but, so, like, <laughs> obviously, then to, to get the opportunity to, to make a tune with him, which was, it wasn't even a feature, it was just, it was a joint project. It was both of our things. We okay. both came together, picked the beat, we both came together, ripped the chorus, ripped our verses on along similar concepts, and they just got good feedback. Well, Street Jammers, you can go and have a look at it right now on SBTV. Now, that's no plug. That's not like that. I'm, I'm talking about some real ish around here. Trust me. Some real <laughs> ish. We're not talking about no normal pop star, hip hop artist. Telling it straight. Nah. Yeah. Fire in the streets. Let's 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 talk about Charlie Slough and Fire in the streets because like I seen MSLs, I seen yours, and I'm just like, you know what? You're repping, definitely repping. So like, how did it all come about? And uh, and how did, you know did you go the on one that? Thing I'll pers- the, the one thing I'll say first of all, yeah, is, yeah. is, is big up Charlie Slough and Zach Langsky first of all, innit? Because big man thing. This is all real talk. They are. If you are doing your thing right now in the music scene. They are giving you that platform. So if you're not doing your thing, you're, you're not going to get on it. That's, that's basically how it is at the moment. If you're putting in work, they are giving back to the scene at the moment. Obviously, Fire in the Booth is just for the established talent. Okay. Big Fire in the Streets platform. They're literally, if you're putting in work and you are fire and you're putting out fire regularly, they yeah. will give you that platform. So that- at the end of the day, I, I've got mad respect for them for that. Um, I, I'll tell you the truth. Like um, I, I got a bit lucky with that. My, my guy, Tabernacle, hold tight, Tab. He was obviously doing his. He hollered me and said, like, I think you should get one of these. Roll down and show him what you can do. I basically rolled down, done my thing. And then they, they, I showed him, like, my previous work while I was with him. And then, obviously, he was like, OK, like, we can definitely get this up. And then it went up. And, and like, like I've been saying with other things, it's just, it's just all been good feedback lately. That's all I can really say. Like, it's just all been good feedback. So while the feedback's coming, I, I'm not going to stop Definitely, definitely. You, you, I, tell you, I tell you what, when artists like, it, 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 it is a grind in that kind of world because you need to make your paper, you need to make your living, but you got a love for it as well. And I tell you what, people, people with the with the hardest cutting lines, the best bars, the best sounds, they just don't get it out there because it's not that like poppy stuff, but I like keeping it real. What about you, Antics? And definitely, man, yeah. definitely. And it's like the old saying goes, you get out what you put in. Definitely. And me personally, I think, like, you've got the likes of Deepop, Hawks, MSL himself, like that are out there grinding, not only making sense and talking consciousness, but there's also a level of poetry in there as well, which yeah. obviously you have to understand that you don't necessarily need to like grind, but understand the passion for music. This is what the part is on. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's all love for all that because that's, 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 you hit the nail on the head right there, man. It's, we're just trying to do concepts like where people can say, you know what, I've been in that situation, or, mm-hmm. or people can say, you know what, I, I can imagine being in that situation, and that's what it, it, yeah. it would yeah, be man. like. I just want to keep it a hundred percent real, so real that people can't ignore it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah definitely. Crazy, crazy. So, um, so like deep, you leave me in suspense now. What is next on your little journey? What's next in the pipeline? Right now, I'm working on a mixtape called the Departure Lounge, and yep. like when I say like I'm, I'm putting my all into this, and I've, I've got a crazy collab. There's, there's some I don't really want to talk about because like, I'm a bit superstitious. I think if I mention this collab, it might fall through. <laughs> so like, to, to be honest saying. with you, I'll only mention the collabs that I've actually got recorded songs that are, are ready to put on the CD. Um, Pagey Cakey's on there. Uh, Flirt of these on there, of course, again. Uh, okay. the, the Brotherhood boys, the Brotherhood lads from Ipswich on that track with Flirt of D as well. Um, and uh, obviously, Ports is going to be on it. We're going to have something from Tabernacle, MSL, of course. But I'm, I'm literally just looking to ram it with collabs, to be honest with you. Like, with the mixtape with me and Porks, it was mainly just us two with, with a couple of collabs, Mob Rider and MSL. Yeah. But with this one, I'm looking to just ram it with collabs, show the team what we can do with different people and, and just see where it goes from there, man. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, every time we get artists on here to do interviews and that, I mean, sometimes I just get blown away by people, but I'm telling you straight, when we come across the shutdown uh, mixtape and then we're just looking at you vibing on, like, on all the social networking sites, we're like, this is like a, this is like a person yeah, that we can relate man. to, do you know yeah, what I mean? Man, definitely. definitely. And we can definitely support, because around Street Jam UK, it's all about supporting UK artists and getting to know them personally, which brings me on to the next stage. Now, we was going to like do the funny side of it, and if you heard the interviews before, 
We've, we've kind of asked some re- well I've, I've kind of asked some stupid <laughs> questions haven't I really <laughs> yeah I hope you're so, ready for this you know, brother. <laughs> so uh, Deepak we're not going to embarrass you too much don't worry about that but we want to get to know you a little bit better so we've got like we've got like five questions to get to know Deepak just a little bit better and then there's um, there's like three questions where um, something mad might come out but what that is is down uh, to you uh, so um, uh, we'll see how it goes <laughs> let's get to know Deepak <laughs> then so Deepak what's the favourite track that you've written so far favourite track that I've written I like Shutdown with, with Forks and Flirt D just, just, just for the pure fact that it was spontaneous but like, it, like we written down the spot in the studio that day but it's, it's spontaneous but it's, it's, it's what a, a tune called Shutdown should be it's a Shutdown chorus <laughs> it's Shutdown verses it's a Shutdown beat and it's on a Shutdown mixtape you know what I'm saying so <laughs> that, that, I, I think that that was the Shutdown for me and, and, and I feel like that that video was me putting my mark on the game it was my first time on SB in three years I was with an established grand veteran I was with my dog Fox like that, that's my track right there, and it's sort of shut down. It's, it's my favourite project to date, that's far. Well, Street Jammers, don't worry. We're going to have that tune coming up very, very soon. And I'm telling you straight, when, when we hear it, we're like, yeah, it's a shutdown, it's a shutdown. <laughs> you know, we're going down with it too. Don't worry. Definitely down here sure, in the studio. We're sure. getting down now. What's your um, best achievement so far? It doesn't even have to be anything to do with music, you know, Deepa. We just want to get to know you a bit better. So what's your best achievement? Oh, my best achievement... I'm gonna to have to come back to the music. This, this music thing is my life, man. You can't, you can't like, like, literally. It, we, we can get off the music, but it's still gonna be music. But <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, in it. I'm a realist, innit? I set myself a goal in in December to get on SB by that same time this year, basically. And obviously, I've done that in January, innit? So for, for me, that's a big deal, innit? So like, that, that's that's a really big achievement for me, man. That's the that's, that's the God's honest truth. That's like real talk, man. Trust me, I can definitely understand what you're saying there. So um. Yeah. I, I was on it in 2011 when I was called part one I done a warm up session oh, obviously yeah. it got a lot of hate and it got slept on really badly and like I, like I was always gutted about that so in my head I always set that personal goal to sort of get back on there and redeem myself and like I, I feel like Shutdown did that so that's going back to the first question that's another reason that's my favourite project well I'm telling you what the like the like progression must have been just like mad sick because Shutdown is nothing but a Shutdown trust me <laughs> <laughs> every that, single that, track that was on the idea, that was the idea definitely definitely so like like going back to like more about deeper a bit more this one's a bit of a weird question now i have to put something in, into the thing don't i antiques i always have to do it all the time man all, all the, the time. time so um if, oh, run it run it <laughs> run it if you could run it if you could depart to another destination anywhere <laughs> in the world where would that be and why <laughs> If, if, sorry, sorry, so if, if I could depart somewhere <laughs> to, to to another de- uh, to like another destination anywhere in the world, why? Well, like, where you know would what, you go? Yeah. Why? I, I went on a lot of holidays when I was younger, like to Spain, like, to, like all the usual like holiday destinations. And the only one I remember is America, and I was like five, and I remember it so clearly. And for that pure reason, I know that was the best holiday I ever went on. And obviously, America is the best country in the world, man. Like, every, like <laughs> whether we want to admit it or not. Nearly everything about our culture is, is from America, man. Yeah, like, listen, people can say what they want, but it's the it's the truth, and most of our culture's from there. And why is that? Because it's a sick country, man. So like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd probably want to depart to America and just chill, man. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It's all about departing somewhere else, definitely. But definitely don't go anywhere. Of course, now. man. Uh, Everyone but, wants to depart somewhere, man. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now we've now we've had a look online and. Um, we've also understood a couple of things about you know when you was younger you was like listening to like game um you kind of definitely you you got like a lot of respect for kendrick lamar and um and he's killer (laughs) and and another thing which like i'm sure i'm sure it's almost like a quote it's like if any other rapper can tell me that they don't want to um collab with eminem they're lying so yeah these three people here this is like a really trick question for you now out of the three of them you can only choose one which one would you want to collab with the most? Oh. I <laughs> got you there. Oh, shady, man. Really? Shady. Mr. Slim. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it right now because I, I, I'd, want, I want, I'd want my lyrical content to be so advanced that like, obviously man's on pause and on the track. And right now, I can't promise that. I don't think many people in the UK can. But like, in, in the long scheme of things, like that, I, I'll, go with, I'll go with Shady. Kendrick's hot right now, but like... Eminem's hot this decade, man. Come he's, on, man. He's, he's just like a veteran. He's a veteran and he's still here. And he's still living he's it a pioneer. large. <laughs> he's a pioneer. And that's what we're all trying to be. We're all trying to be pioneers. 
Definitely. Now, um, Deepak, sometimes on this interview, when we go a little bit deep and we ask a couple of funny questions, like a lot of people kind of just give us like one word answers. So um, what we've like, me and Antic has come up with like a kind of rule where you can't just give us a one word answer. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what the question is first. Okay, not a problem. The first one, are you ready for it? What is your guilty pleasure? Takeaways all day, <laughs> every day. <laughs> and what takeaways it's, it's, it's an addiction. It's, it's peak right now, isn't it? It's funny you should say that because I was just talking about this earlier. I've got an addiction. My hand picks up my phone and orders Chinese or something. <laughs> my mind even agreeing to it. And then I clock off to like, yo, bro, you can't do that. So, I, I, like, you know, I like the way he says my hand does it like it's a separate entity from his hand. That's literally, takeaways on my bike. <laughs> oh my gosh so is it like any take like just any takeaway just go onto that just the kind of app and you just order anything from anywhere nah, I'm, a, I'm a domino's and a chinese guy still oh, just okay. like but to be honest with you like at the moment i'm i'm i just get very lazy like i have a little smoke and i'm just like you know what <laughs> let's just kick back long. Trust you me. know what i mean but it's, it's, it's bad man it's bad for my heart man i have to live long so i can make music man do you know what i'm saying <laughs> definitely but, but like I, i'm trying to buck that guilty pleasure up but that's that's that, that was definitely not a one word question you got me at the right time that's cool that's cool but this next one i'm sure you might even try and get away with like just a one word answer or maybe even two words because right now i, I, I want to know what your most embarrassing moment would be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going to come out? I thought this was an interview. I just read it. It was interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to local police station. Yeah, we have to have fun around here, Deepak. Right? You know that. I done a, one time. Porks brought me in on the performance in a, in, in a nightclub in my local area, and like literally everyone I knew was there. Yeah. And the, the minute it came to my verse, I just saw a bright light, and I don't know what happened, but everything in my brain erased and I just stood there and it was the first time I oh, ever gosh. done a live performance oh, and it gosh. knocked me I, I didn't want to do another one for time after I was like nah 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 I need to work on my confidence but true say I'm, I'm, I'm cool performing live now yeah definitely but, uh, well I mean that the first time I ever done it I was shell shocked and true say I had a few too many uh, Deseranos and that because, uh, boy, by the time I got out there I was like <laughs> well, I can tell you this much now: you can't, you can't see any of that old, that old like D part or part one. You can see all the new D part, and I'm telling you straight, family, it's like uh, we got, we got, we got another star that we're gonna have to push right here. Right, definitely, man, 100%, definitely. man. So, yeah, man. Now, I see you, man, hitting up the Twitter tonight. Now, it's all love. I respect anyone that supports the cause, bro. And at the end of the day, it's like you said as well, like part one. I feel like that's kind of in the past, and like D part. Anything you find with D part in the title on YouTube right now. That, that is that is what I'm on right now, and, that's, and that's the kind of shit I'm releasing. And part one, I, I, I was sort of new to the scene, sort of feeling around, trying to get my flow, trying to get my character, my concept. But like, this is it now. Like, I, I, it's on point now, and like, the material I'm releasing now is, is all material I'm happy with, man. That's all good. Well, talking about material, um, this 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 like last question now before we oh. sign off is um now this one can be either very very good or very very bad. Um, yeah. What was the first record that you bought? The first record that I bought. I remember, do you know what, yeah? I, bought, I remember buying, you're asking me questions and the answer's just a, <laughs> like a light bulb. The first ever tape I bought from Woolworths, yeah, when I was like seven, was uh, <laughs> Limp Biscuit. Rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. <laughs> rolling. I, I remember, I, I'll never forget that. I don't know why, but I was obsessed with that tune when I was a kid. Maybe it was because I was a bit into the wrestling and the Undertaker used to ride his bike to the ring to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, that tune, like, even you play it now, it's just like nostalgia. I'm just like rolling, baby. But yeah, real talk. But that's the first, uh, that's okay. definitely the first record I ever bought, isn't it? Like, you that's know, the truth. I'll I, I tell you what, Deepart, like, it's so nice to hear you that you're young because you're saying that you're 22. God. Yeah, man. I've got like eight years on you, man. I'm losing my hair in all sorts, bro. And you're talking about uh-huh. that tune. That was when, like, I was, I don't know, like 13, chilling out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling old, brother. Now, Deepak, it's a big, big thank you from Mr. ID in the place. It's definitely, man. It was nah, a big moment. up, man. It's a big, big thank you for having me, man. Real talk, real talk. It's been an absolute pleasure, trust me. Now, Deepak, before we go anywhere else, you need to tell all the street jammers how they can get in touch with everything you got. I want to hear as many different social network sites, as many different links and everything else. And then we're going to bring in two tracks from the Shutdown album, now available. It's been available since, since January 2014, hosted by Flirt D. It's called a shutdown. So, Deep Art, say goodnight to the Street Jammers. Yo, yo, big up everyone listening. Hold tight, Street Jam. At Deep Art Artist on the Twitter. Big up for having me, man. All love.
Don't check that show on SCTV right now. It's a shutdown. Right it's a shutdown. Quick, we've been to the quick, competition, quick. had enough now. We are the best North West, that's the offer. To me, I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers. It's a shutdown. It's a shutdown. Middle finger to the competition, it's a shutdown. We are the best North West, that's the offer. To me, I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers. Uh, uh, so don't forget what I taught ya. Might have lost my mother, but her mother lost the daughter. And no woman should ever have to bury their child. And the place she lived in all her life is now so terribly oh, white. Yeah. AJ jeans, I've been known to cop them Music, I gotta make it, it's my only option Look around the hood, dog. all I see is troubled figures Dudes on the YouTube are almost reaching double figures What is that reason, what that feeling? It's like I've been possessed by rap demons Is that real and the earth to touch mics? Be the same as when cats feed Won't catch me, I'll be up against the wall like a flat screen Outside of the class, extracurriculum With a flow that's simply ridiculous The possession like insidious I love you in your crib and shit Looking out the window like shit How did I get into this? We got above the symphony It's a shutdown Northwest, that's the offer. So may I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers? It's a shutdown. It's a shutdown. Middle finger to the competition. Had enough now. This is the rule. The best Northwest, that's the offer. So may I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers? Wait, wait, wait. Warm to man, Warm to and how they fucking feeling? Man, has got a master plan, but most of man are fucking dreaming. Yeah, man, I'm staying on point, dog. You are the fucking scheming. Yeah. My flow is sounding crisp. Yeah. Them man are fucking screaming. Yeah, Sexiest girl sense. when I bust in my semen. I see my demons in the healing. When I weed in and dealing, my fingers are bleeding. Because we're stuck in suppression. And learn us a lesson. Now we're stuck in recession. We're taking possession. Send your children the lesson. Close to recession. Pose the question about the government and those of selection. Maybe they're the ones that need a correction. When we're feeling rejection, vote when we need an election. That's why I'm feeling like this life is a test. But I'm feeling like this life is a struggle I'm just trying to double my bubble I'll stay out of trouble in this world where you die You hustle around with your muscles So I'm supplying the Brussels And if you talk, I'm supplying the muscles I'll burn a man like a guy in an oven Nobody loves us or hugs us Only God or the law is above us And the government every day is trying to fuck us Trying to fuck us Trying to fuck us Shut down next day It's a shutdown, it's a shutdown Middle finger to the competition, had enough now We are the best Northwest, that's the offer So may I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers It's a shutdown, it's a shutdown Middle finger to the competition, had enough now We are the best Northwest, that's the offer So may I just suggest you stay clear from the coppers I started with a penny, ended up a telly Cover multi flare, this suck ain't ready No self chips, I ain't fucking with them jellies I need some black chinas, my words Started with a penny, ended up up a telly, I'm a moat, flare, these suckers ain't ready, no sell chicks, I ain't fucking with them jezzies, I need some black chinas, my rise, Halle Berry's, Mr. the Axis Tames, including the semis, my cartel's strong, my wrist game is heavy, my bitch game decent, they hotter than Perry Perry, see me on the one, surrounded by some prezzies, and I ain't talking about a rap gift, I taught myself to spit a flip, that's the strap gift, young pork, sleep hard, and a damn myth, anyone can get it if you're acting negative, I'm on the positive, and you don't wanna lose your wig, give me Show money and I'll show you what it is Seeing this, believing that we on some other shit I'm humble, but if I hate, I run some sucking mother tip I'm gonna flame up his crib with the other miss Send him to the sky, dirt nappy quick Gotcha, suck it, suck it Don't mind fame, but I'd rather be rich than this Legendary always, so you know I live like this